The sun goes through an 11 year solar cycle and right now we are approaching the maximum of that cycle, the middle of it, when the sun's magnetic poles will flip from north to south. And in the lead up to that, there is high sunspot activity and solar storms like the one we saw late last week producing the incredible northern lights display here in the United States. Now charged protons and electrons are emitted from the sun and then carried toward Earth and through space by the solar wind. Fortunately, for us, the Earth's magnetic field largely directs these toward the weak points, which would be at the poles. And that's why more often than not, when these are interacting with charged particles in our atmosphere, the northern lights are produced at northern latitudes. This is why they're called the northern lights. It's very rare that they come far south, but occasionally you get a stronger solar storm that can produce northern lights, perhaps to northern New England. Friday's event, though, was exceptional. On a scale of zero to nine, the KP index pretty much maxed out at a nine and people in Florida were able to see this display through long exposure photography. Now this particular solar storm is still ongoing, but it's not nearly as intense. That said, as we approach the solar maximum, which is projected to be next year, there will likely be more opportunities to see the northern lights. It just appears that for now, the activity has subsided. I'm meteorologist Ryan Bretton, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.